Oh, there's an interesting book. Okay, thanks for letting us know that. Casey is saying just finished reading The Secret Sense. And, and, and in fact, only about three or four days ago, I was looking at this book okay, in, a, in a bookshop, exclusive books here in South Africa. Uh, the Secret Sense is written by Caitlin O'Connell, um, Dr. Caitlin O'Connell, and she's um, she did a lot of her work actually up in Namibia, in Itosha, where we're going, well, very close to where we're going. Um, I'm sure she worked in other parts of Africa as well, but I know that some of the articles I read a few years ago, and she was publishing articles in magazines, um, were all out of Itosha. And it deals with, I'm sure, a lot of different aspects of animals, uh, of elephants, but specifically with a lot of the low frequency sound and also a lot of the sounds that they pick up vibrations and so on through their feet and that they actually pick up through the vibrations in the in the in the sand or the soil or the earth itself and now they can communicate in that way very fascinating stuff that she she studied look forward to hearing what you thought of the book okay when we talk again when we talk speak That other elephant went into this thicker stuff. We're not going to follow behind it now. I think we might just go back and try another another go at those young leopards, see if they might be moving around. It's getting quite dark now, partly because it's getting late, but also because of the heavy clouds. And it doesn't look like it's going to rain just yet. It was looking very threatening 10, 15 minutes ago, but it's just hanging back for the moment. Look, it smells very nice. Can you smell that? that? Something smells really nice. It smells like sweet. And as I said it, I felt a raindrop on my head, but it's not on my head, I've got a hat on my head, so just there above my right eyebrow to be specific. But it might just be a lost drop. Perhaps. Change the battery quickly. I don't have any warning on the speed now, so let's see if it happens. But no fear, you should see about now again. About now again.
got another question about those elephants. Matthew? Matthew is six years old. Asking whether the elephants are afraid of me or a human and or the jigger, the vehicle, the game drive vehicle. Matthew has been on drives with us. Not for that long, actually. Matthew, if I remember correctly, you guys started joining us about two months ago or so, if that. I remember that night with... Um, in Duna, Lishan, you remember? In Duna that was hunting at infrared. You could see the eyes the whole time behind the impalas. It was an amazing night. I remember you guys were asking lots of questions. But anyway, Matthew's asking whether elephants are afraid of us and the vehicle and vice versa, whether I'm afraid of the elephants. Um, Matthew, not so much of the jigger. They get very used to the vehicles. Now, some elephants more so than others. I mean, the ones we saw earlier, they were very comfortable, nice and relaxed. Some other elephants, they can sometimes be a little bit more afraid or weary or jumpy. Some can be a bit more aggressive sometimes. Um, relative to humans, in other words, if you were to take, let's take me now as an example, out of the jigger, in other words, if the elephant was there and I climbed out, started running towards it, um, it would most likely run away. Typically, animals are afraid of humans, wild animals. Um, and if I walk slowly towards it, it might challenge me back. But if I charged it and ran and made a lot of noise and moved my hands around and wah, then uh, the elephant would almost certainly run away because then they think, what's... What's this crazy thing doing? So elephants are not afraid of vehicles or humans in vehicles because they see it as a whole. But they can be of humans on their own. Uh, in terms of being afraid of the elephant, from a human point of view, um, actually, no, I'm not afraid of elephants. I'm very respectful of them. And certainly some elephants, if, uh, if they give you the signs that you shouldn't mess with them and you do mess with them, then it might be necessary to be afraid of them because they can get aggressive if need be. But I've spent a lot of time looking at elephants and I've spent a lot of time with elephants and and um, I've also had a big effort at understanding them as far as possible and um, therefore I'm really not afraid of them. I have huge deal of respect for them, not just because they're big, well bigger than anything else on land, but also just because they're very intelligent, they're incredibly sensitive animals, they're incredibly sentient beings, in other words, they're very aware, I mean I'm using, maybe you don't know what I mean in that, but they just, they, they're nice animals, they've got brains, you know, they can think and they can communicate and they can move around and, they, and they've and they got great social structures, they've got brothers and sisters and mothers and they all spend a lot of time together and they care for each other and, and they interact with the environment and other things like humans, so therefore I've got a great deal of respect for them on all those levels. It's getting a bit dark now, huh? have one last look around here otherwise I'm going to slowly drive back towards camp there's a more consistent few drops every now and again falling not rain yet but it's becoming a bit more of it I think these leopards might still be lying around somewhere waiting for this rain let's have one last look Excuse me. In fact, more drops falling now, so start slowly rolling back towards camp. Thanks, Patrick. A bit of feedback there from the chat rooms. Just as we approach, this is always one of my favorite views around this time of the day. Gary Wartel. We're on super gain or hyper gain, which gives us a bit more light in these low conditions. But it's always a lovely view. The lodge in the background, that's why Tella, that's room one over there. Gary Wartel looking fantastic this time of year, full of water. But yeah, Patrick is giving us feedback there from the chat room. There was a general comment. Now it's always a very dangerous thing to put the word woman and elephant in the same sentence. But uh, you all might remember that luckily women don't mind being 
compared to elephant when it comes to memory. And certainly I think a lot of people, and a lot of them being women, do have the memory of an elephant. And just for interest's sake, it is actually, I'm not sure if it's been scientifically proven, but at least it's been looked at, and certainly from behavior and from what scientists and people that have studied elephants have seen, the term and the memory like an elephant actually does mean quite a lot. Elephants do have an incredible memory. Young elephant calves can sometimes remember roots that their mothers took when they were young, and 20 or 30 years later, under severe drought conditions or under certain conditions, they would find that water hole again that they haven't been to for a very long time. So there is a, an exceptional memory um, with elephants. They do have an amazing long-term memory.